Hello there. Let's talk about AI orchestration frameworks. We're going to talk about what they are, why they might be valuable, and then we'll talk a little bit about the players in the space. So an AI orchestration framework is, uh, you could think of it as something that surrounds uh, the large language models or the AI mechanisms. It's that it allows you to add additional rules, connectivity, contextual information, and basically just help those uh, large language models or AI mechanisms reach a better outcome by orchestrating them in a, a more capable way. So for example, if we have uh, sort of the traditional conversation that a user might have with a large language model, there's a user talking to the robot. Uh, if they were to ask the model something like, you know, what happened in the November 2023 Boomi release notes, uh, the model might say, as a large language model, I am only trained up until April 2023. I can't answer that. It doesn't really have a way to respond. But if we add in even just one extra step where we go out and fetch the relevant information, we have some sort of mechanism. It's not necessarily an AI mechanism, but some mechanism to retrieve that piece of information, that November 2023 release note, and then we provide it to the large language model in its sort of raw form, the large language model can respond, it can summarize the info that it's given, and it can give a much more accurate response uh, by us adding in that extra step. So that's an example of an orchestration mechanism. That particular one is called retrieval augmented generation, where you're basically going out to find relevant context and then you're including that in the prompt to the large language model, but that's just one sort of orchestration step. You could also have orchestration steps to go out and connect into outside systems like Salesforce or NetSuite or local databases. You could have steps that are sort of decision criteria where you know, perhaps in a, a sort of agent type way, uh, your design is able to decide what tool it should use uh, to resolve the particular request. Perhaps you have some sort of layer of notification. So all of these different sorts of steps along the way uh, that might be helpful to reach the end outcome, those would be orchestration steps. And it might be that, you know, in a 20 step process, maybe we are actually calling an AI mechanism on step four, 11 and 17, but all of the other steps are logic and connectivity and, and basically orchestration mechanisms. So you might have a bunch of different steps in and out of this sort of dialogue with a large language model that helps the model to respond more capably. So let's talk briefly about the players in the space. Uh, probably the one getting the most attention is called LangChain. It is a very nifty uh, bit of open source software. It has libraries, as I understand it, for Python and, uh, and Node.js. And it's getting a lot of attention as sort of uh, leading the charge on these sorts of orchestration framework use cases. But if you'll allow me uh, 45 or so seconds to throw shade at LangChain, what we are hearing from our customers, from the analysts, uh, even from other vendors in the AI space is that LangChain is great for getting to a proof of concept. It's not quite ready to be used in a business setting. And being this sort of leading edge open source software, that's not really its, its purpose. It may not really ever reach that point. This is where I will humbly propose that Boomi may be a interesting alternative for organizations that may need to do something with real data or uh, real reliability requirements, and, and they want to do it in a sort of business ready way. Boomi is an integration platform as a service. Uh, IPaaS is the acronym there. And for a great many years, a decade and a half, we've been in the cloud handling automation, orchestration, connectivity, logic, all of the sort of stuff that goes into an AI orchestration framework. Uh, it's just that we are now adding in the additional mechanisms uh, to call into the AI mechanisms. And indeed, we've actually been doing a lot of this orchestration and automation with AI use cases for, for a great many years as well. I, I, in, 2019, we, and, and I personally, uh, actually filed a patent that has been awarded that augments and orchestrates natural language processing AI models with business rules and connectivity to end up getting a better outcome. So this is the sort of wheelhouse use case that, uh, that we're pretty excited about. In closing, I think these orchestration type uh, ways of interacting with large language models and other AI mechanisms are going to continue to become more prevalent and more powerful uh, in the years to come. And uh, I would certainly 
encourage you to take a look at uh, an automation or integration platform like Boomi to achieve those sorts of orchestration framework use cases. Thanks for watching. Hope that was valuable.